thanks for checking out this video. This is the first session of the year and after just having COVID for like 13 days, I'm so chuffed to be out now. Um, it seems like it's the start of summer as well, so I'm absolutely buzzing to be out. Uh, the weather all week looked absolutely bang on for getting out on the kayak. It's flat, it's gonna be flat calm, nice big tides, and then towards the end of my time off work, it's gonna be smaller tides, so I should be able to get out and target some tope at, at the end of my holiday. Um, but this week I'm gonna concentrate on some laws and uh, some light ledgering. Um, but today is gonna be some softies and some trolling laws for bass. Yeah, just blowing the cobwebs today and just uh, out to enjoy it and see what happens really. Um, nice sunny day and uh, where I'm gonna be fishing along Jersey's north coast here. Uh, I've just ventured out from Grevdelec, uh, lovely little bay in Jersey on the northwest coast. So. Um, I'm just going to pot up my way around and uh, make my way to Sorrel Point and hopefully pick up a few wrasse in some of the coves and some of the rocky areas. There's a few guys on the pier sorting their boats out and they were saying, oh, um, there's been a few nice bass and some uh, pollock and bream and that's starting to show. Hopefully today works out all right and uh, main thing, enjoying it. I'm absolutely thrilled to be out. So uh, next thing to do is just find a fish. So what I like to do at the start of the session is uh, if I've not already got them rigged up, then uh, get my laws ready for what I'm going to be using today. So the RAS is going to be a, a mixture of um, some softies that I've got, but I'm going to primarily start on the uh, fish minnow. Um, some scary eels as well. It's a bright sunny day, so not too sure what um, the bass are going to be like, but they might be out on the reefs today, which would be all right. Um, I've got some uh, nice new deep divers as well from uh, Mr. Fish. That's the old classic. I love this little one. I haven't found it for ages and then uh, I didn't realize Mr. Fish was selling them and I seen them on the shelf and uh, yeah, picked one up. So I'm gonna be trolling stuff like that, hopefully later on. Some top water laws, I've got the uh, pop chinko with me today. So if I do see any bust ups, which it's a little bit early, but you never know, got that. And uh, yeah, just the uh, surface law range there. So it's literally just gonna be a case of flicking some stuff out today and just seeing what happens. So uh, I'm just going to have a little flick with a fish minnow around here, see if I can find a wrasse as I go along, just make use of the coves and stuff that are in and around this, this part of the coastline. So uh, hopefully pick up a fish or two. Sometimes you just got to entice them. So a few little bounces of the rod tip. But I think it's only a little fish. There we go. First one of the sesh. It's not very big. Little wrasse. And I think that's my first red wrasse on the kayak. I've been wanting one of them for ages. I kept getting the uh, the green ones. Let's get him back now. Off he goes. Sometimes, even when you're just drifting off the mark in the kayak, if you are grass fishing. You don't even need to twitch the lure. So like now I'm not even moving it. And just from me drifting away from the mark that I'm, well, the target area that I'm fishing, I found that if I just leave the lure on the bottom, it skips itself from rock to rock. Okay, you get the odd bit like now where you need to lift into it. It's a little bit of kelp or something. But sometimes you'll get that tap, tap, tap. And it's like, you've just gone over like a rass hole or in between a rass hole or in a little gully or something and your law's just doing it itself especially like now if it's getting deeper and i'm just coming off the mark slightly um, my law's just going to be above it's going to go higher and higher and higher in the water column if i don't let it have any more slack line and uh, dropping it down anymore so it's going to be going over all the kelp and stuff like that and sometimes they'll come out and they'll just smash it 
that's when you get them uh, proper rod bending bikes and hanging on for dear life so you need that drag set just to make sure that he doesn't get a head start on you when you hook up but no I definitely had a bite at the first bit there so literally trying to hit the rock in front of me even if my weedless law hits it and just bounces off goes in the water you're gonna get a rash right in there all I'm doing now is just getting my uh, Bixby on uh, this is where it's quite handy is if you're drifting off the spot just get the Bixby on you can still fish hands um, like hands-free sort of thing you know without having to use the paddle um, and I'm just putting myself back into position while still fishing so uh, although I haven't got a pedal kayak using the Bixby uh, it allows me to get back onto the spot that I want to be on I can still fish at the same time as well well that was a nice little start then uh, second drop into the session and uh, nice little wrasse nice little red one as well where I'm paddling back in now is probably the first time I brought my LRF gear out uh, when I was shore fishing a while ago and uh, I was using tiny little grubs, like two to three um, inch on a little, uh, I think it was like a seven gram jig head. And I had this huge wrasse, it was about five pounds. So uh, I'm just gonna trot some little lures in and around the rocks and uh, the sides of the, the reef here. So um, hopefully find a nice big one. I'm gonna try just here and uh, see if I can pick up a fish. just plopping down a fish minnow drag quite tight yeah half the time I just leave it feel I'm getting bites ready just the odd little twitch the rod should just buckle over and then you've got a fish on like that there you go oh nice orange one hey -hey. oh he's only lightly hurt he might come off yeah he's off Wee. and he splashed me right in the face as well Oh god, that was a nice little one though. Nice bright orange one. Okay, I drop down again, see if there's another one there. It wasn't big, it was probably about a pound. Nice colours though. Literally all I'm doing on the kayak is just finding a nice little slack bit of water next to a reef and then uh, just bouncing up and down with the rod and then keeping it static sometimes because the kayak's moving we'll be moving the lure as well just got to be careful you don't bang into the reef or anything few bait fish here as well actually should be loads of that here oh, that's a good spot I've just dropped it right in a hole should be a rass there there we go go on go on I know you want it I know you want it Off. Have another bash at that. I just need to find that deep patch again. You never know, you might pick up a big, big wrasse or something like that. So.
that's a good bite. Oh, again, again. Wow, there you go. That was a brute. Check that. Bye bye, minnow. Right, no messing around now. Dark sleeper going on. There's a big boy down there. So I've got the dark sleeper on now. Let's see if the rats are taking this. I know they're feeding now. We're getting some right good bites here. Oh, this is a good one. No. Oh, he's out. Feels better. Oh, another lovely red one. On the dark sleeper. It's not huge, but let's get this GoPro. Oh, no. No. Perfect timing for a blooper. Getting the other GoPro on. That was a nice red one, that. Oh, so basically... Chucking that out now. Dark sleeper with a flex head on. He still managed to take line, even though my drag's quite tight. That's how powerful these fish are, for their size anyway. Today's meant to be like a, just a quick blow out of the cobwebs and uh, get back into the swing of things with the kayak and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's been really good. Well, that's a fish. Let's go and preserve this one. Ah, what's this one? Ah, oh, he's not the red one. But he's nice nonetheless. I'll give you a quick look at this one. Taking on the uh, dark sleeper there with the flex head. Nice wrasse. Well, there you go, the dark sleeper. If you're interested in these, Mr. Fish is the place to get them. That's where I got these. I said to him I'd try him for the wrasse, he reckons they'd kill, kill for the wrasse and turns out they're doing the business, that's for sure. He's hooked really nicely actually this one, there we go. All the wrasse been about this size, probably doesn't look big on the camera with the old hands and that but no they've all been about that size, sort of size, about two pound but there's definitely some big ones down there. Nice first session out on the laws. Off he goes. Damage report. Both its eyes are gone. The whole law is still intact. It's just got teeth, a couple of teeth marks. So that's like my uh, pricey ras fetish of a law. I like buying these fish minnows, even though they're pricey. You can get the cheap ones, but I like these ones, the uh, officials. And then uh, this thing here has just been battered for the last 25 minutes. Missed loads of fish, don't get me wrong, but the ones it's landed, been right in the mouth. And uh, yeah, teeth marks all over it, but the plastic's holding up really nicely. It's quite thick for a softy, but then the tail is really, um, really light. So. If I was going to get bitten off, I reckon it'd be that tail bit. But the body's is quite squidgy and hard, and then the tail's where all the action is. It just looks so sick underwater as well. It actually looks like a 
like a, a live goby. I've, I've used live gobies for bass before, uh, live blennies and that, and this looks bang on. So that spot seemed to be uh, a little bit quiet. There was a few decent fish there, but what I want to do is just pot around quite quickly and uh, literally just stop for a five, ten minutes, just drop down, see if I can find anything. And uh, when these heads are exposed at low tide, then go and venture around them and see if I can find bass. So the ras fish has been quite poor today. Um, it's perfect conditions as well. I mean, the tide, I've come out and it was still dropping. So, so it's about low tide now. And uh, the fishing can only improve really. As the day goes on, I've got a couple of hours. So, I mean, we've been out, what, an hour so far, not long. There's another head out there, I might just go and have a check out of that because I haven't looked at that one yet. But that's one of the ones I had on my um, on my Navionic, so uh, I might just go check that out quickly now. Oh yeah, it looks good out there. Looks very nice out there. The uh, The swell. It's a little bit unpredictable coming over this reef so I want to be just off it a couple of yards casting towards it that should be fine paddling against the tide still so it's going to take a little while to get there not too long in fact let's cheat for a bit Handy having the Bixby. Hopefully you can see this is a nice little spot here. So yeah, this, this Bixby motor is quite handy because what I'm actually doing is just, I've got it in like the first gear and I'm just sat here um, fishing this, this set of heads here. And just by having it in a low gear, it's just keeping me in position. All I'm having to do is just use the foot controls to steer and uh, just keep myself on track. Obviously I just turn it off if I'm getting too close to the reef. The tide just pushes me back off it. I'm going to head just off to the other side of it and uh, just have a few flicks as I'm going round. Just put savage gear out just to troll a savage gear quick to see what happens it's gonna go past this reef go round it and then back in well guys I'm literally just trolling a savage gear wasn't doing anything special I thought I'm gonna hold the rod you know right, sort out this other GoPro quick and I've hooked the fish I was just holding it I don't think it's a very big fish but I was just holding the, uh, the rod and trying to work out different angles for uh, having the rod whilst, um, whilst stowed away in the rod holder, what, what angle for trolling. 
is going to be my preference, you know, and uh, I've managed to hook a fish and I believe it's a bass. It's swimming to what? Oh, it's, yeah, it's a bass. Not a bad size one. Yeah, it's not a bad one. I'll get the net. It's not huge, but get him in the net and then uh, have a better look at him. That's not bad. Kind of all over the place because I wasn't expecting that to happen if I'm honest. I was literally just sorting out my uh, my trolling uh, tactics and uh, picked up this nice bass. My uh, camera just uh, fogged up a little bit before I was not expecting this fish. Uh, it's not a huge fish. I was just practicing uh, where I was going to put my rod holders and how I was going to put them on the kayak and stuff like that. So yeah, this is a nice little fish. We've had a nice red wrasse, checked out a couple of heads and then a couple of uh, chucks later I've had this on a troll, just going to another set of heads. So yeah, nice. Hoping he goes back all right. Come on, mate. Bit some walk through the gills. His fin's poking out the water. Drop our predator. Not a huge one. That's actually my uh, first trolled bass. There we go, he's kicking. guys that's that's all for um for today's session but yeah once again thanks for checking out this video and uh, i'll catch you in the next one